The track here at Odell Weeks turned into a place of honor on what would have been the 26th birthday of Ahmaud Arbery. A few dozen feet remembering an incident from dozens of miles away, a community honoring a life cut short by a senseless tragedy. Always thought that change had to be something huge and elaborate, and I realized it was just over a Facebook post that change could happen. And especially his home for a woman raising two males here in Aiken. What do you tell your sons whenever they leave your home to make sure that they come back at night? To be aware of their surroundings all the time and don't go anywhere where you don't know your surroundings because you just don't ever know. You know, I'm always traveling a group, try to be more than one person at a time. You know, just, just be aware and, and be safe. I don't like them wearing hoodies with their hats on. It's not safe. I want them to come home every day. Leaders in the community like Concerned Ministers Fellowship say it's needed to save yet another life to bring greater peace. Well, the world is in a bad enough shape with the pandemic that is going on, but to still see the underlying evil that is still among us today, concentrating on the one thing that's most important, and that is love toward humanity. So this group will keep hitting the pavement. And we pray for his family, um, pray for his mother and anybody involved in it, and hope and plan something eventually will be done to keep everybody safe out there. So those like Deshaun Potts can have a fighting chance. I just make sure like I'm not doing nothing wrong and like I'm keeping myself like where I need to be at, at the right time and like make sure I'm not getting in the wrong situations. Hey, AK County, South Carolina, I'm Aiken Bureau Chief Sean Cabbage Stock, WJBF News Channel 6.